Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun little vlog for you guys. We are finally gonna go out shopping for baby girl. I have never bought an article of clothing for a little girl. Well, I have once for a baby shower, but that doesn't count. So now I am 15 and a half weeks pregnant. Things are moving along. I'm in kind of the good period of my pregnancy, the second trimester where I don't have my nausea anymore, thank God, it was so bad. I would say my energy is coming back, but you know, I could still nap easily for two hours a day. Big milestone I hit today is my bump is finally big enough where it's an obvious baby bump and not just like, does she have a food baby? Is she a little bloated? So up until today, I had just been wearing baggy stuff, but now we're busting out the tight clothes, okay? This to me is an obvious bump that if I went out in public, people would realize I'm pregnant. So we're gonna head over to Nordstrom because I have some gift certificates from Christmas that I haven't used yet. So I wanna get maybe even like a coming home outfit, something cute. Hello everybody. It's Carter. How do you feel about having a little sister? I'm so excited to have a little sister. Are you really excited or are you just telling me what I wanna hear? I'm really excited. Are you gonna be a good brother? Yeah. What are you going to do for her? Play. Play with her? Yeah. Are you going to change her stinky diapers? Where is she right now? In your belly. What are your memories of being in my belly? Uh, playing in your belly and playing with toys. And do you remember when it was time to come out? What happened? I got stuck. <laughs> you did get stuck. Do you know why you got stuck? Why? Because you were sucking your thumb as you were coming out of the birth canal and you got stuck. That was fun. Okay. Let's head out. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me with this? Look at this. Oh my gosh, look. The little lemons. Oh my gosh. I cannot. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need this. Okay, this is kind of the vibe I'm thinking for her nursery. Like a floral. I might do floral, I might do something else. We'll actually discuss it later. Like, I want this for myself. Okay, so this was Carter's coming home outfit, except in blue, and I'm like tearing up, and I have to get this. <gasps> okay, this is, need this. What do you have, buddy? It's a bunny. Do you want to get the bunny? Yeah. Carter, what was that? You choose that one? Yes! Do you think it's pretty? Yeah. Okay, love this. I think this is my favorite brand, Little Me. I said, I just don't love the buttons. Yes, this was Carter's coming home outfit. This exact one, the little teddy on it. So we have to get the matching one in pink. So I'm still not sure if I'm gonna get a double stroller or not. I've heard very mixed things. I might just wait it out and see if we can get by with our single, because I really like the one I have. And if I need it, I'll just get one in the future. Oh, bows. <gasps> I don't even know where to start with bows. I need to start somewhere. Okay, this thing is so cool. It's a car seat and it turns into a stroller. The only thing, it's like five or six hundred dollars and you really can only use it when they're an infant. So I don't know if it's worth it. I think I'm gonna get this infant car seat, the Nuna Pippa Light, because I hated the one I had with Carter. It was awful, it was so heavy. I couldn't carry it. I've heard good things about this, but let me know if you guys have a favorite. <gasps> What's the bunny's name? Oh my gosh. You guys, I cannot. He insisted that he got a boo-boo right under his nose and that he needed a band-aid. What happened under your nose? Um, he got boo-boo. Look what just came, my pregnancy pillow. I've been having lower back pain, so I needed it earlier this time. And I asked on Instagram stories, which one do you guys recommended? This was the winner. I think it's called Queen Bee or something. Um, and it's really soft. It has like a velvet cover on it. Oh my gosh, am I excited for this. All right, so I picked up a couple of things recently. I wanted your opinion if I should keep or not. This dress, I actually know I'm gonna keep, but I just want to show you because it's from Walmart. It was like 20 something dollars from Walmart. But how cute is this? Sofia Vergara from Modern Family has her own line at Walmart. And this is one of the dresses. And I just think it is gorgeous. I love it so much. It's not maternity, but definitely works for a bump. Okay, so this is one I'm not sure about. I just picked it up today from Target. I thought that it was gonna be a dress, 
but it's definitely like a tunic top. Don't own anything like it, but maybe that's a good thing because I don't have the best style. So let me know, do we like this? Should I return it? Okay, next thing I am really on the fence about are these shorts. So they are maternity. They're Levi's brand, but I got them on Amazon. I just don't know. They're comfortable, they're cute, everything is fine, except see how they kind of like bunch here at the crotch? Just don't think that's cute. So I'm leaning towards returning them for that reason. Or do all shorts do that? I don't know. Another thing I need to point out, this top, okay, it's from Nordstrom, it's like $24. My favorite t-shirt of all time. I have it in white, black, gray, and then this cute camo. It's so soft. It's not too tight, like kind of hides the bump a little bit, but the fabric, the fit, everything about it. All right, I want to talk to you guys about my new obsession. This is like a level 10 out of 10 obsession for me now, and that is skincare. I've always been interested in it, but lately, I don't know what it is. Actually, I can tell you what it is. I'm in my 30s now. Things are changing. Once you start to see changes, it's like, I just feel like regardless of how I look and feel, if my skin is looking good, I feel good about myself. This is what people are looking at and I want that glow in my pregnancy. So anyway, I'm very lucky. My mom is a cosmetic chemist and I actually had her create brand new products specifically for me. These are probably the best skincare products I have ever used. I have before and after pictures I will show you because my skin has transformed in just a few weeks but we decided to release them because i know a lot of other pregnant women follow me if you're pregnant breastfeeding actually just anybody who wants really natural but also effective skincare because these have the most safe natural non-toxic ingredients but the line just launched yesterday so i wanted to tell you about it just quickly go through these because i'm just so excited about them so first up any pregnant woman needs a good belly oil to help prevent stretch marks but honestly, this is a full body, head to toe oil. And this has the best combination of oils, all organic that you could ever want, dream of, hope for. It took, I wanna say like 22 different batches until I felt it was the perfect formulation. Cause I don't want an oil that's too sticky. I also don't want an oil that's too dry. That doesn't feel hydrating enough for me. All of these oils are non-comedogenic, so you can even use it on your face, your neck, your hands. This has the lineup of all the best oils. So jojoba oil, rosehip oil, pumpkin seed oil, avocado oil, but the standout, which is actually the number two ingredient, so it's pretty high in concentration here, is camilla oil. And camilla oil is like the most luxury oil. That's the oil that Tatcha skincare charges about $85 an ounce for. We have it in here and it's just like pure luxury and hydration on your skin. So this is just the holy grail body oil, belly oil, regardless of if you're pregnant. I literally bathe in this. This is probably my third or fourth bottle that I've gone through. I just douse myself in this every night. It feels amazing. Next product that I'm equally as excited about is the Pregnancy Glow Serum. So I wanted an all-in-one AM, PM skincare product. Just make my life easier. So the main ingredients in this is first, hyaluronic acid. You probably have heard about it by now, but it is amazing for hydrating and also plumping the skin back up. So it can get in those fine lines and help plump them back up. We have some of the best vitamins for your skin in here. So vitamin B, E, and also C alpha lipoic acid which i think is so underrated but it is an antioxidant that is so powerful for cell regeneration in your skin and also helps with your texture with redness with just bringing your skin back to life giving you that glow last product in the lineup here is very special to me it is a pregnancy glow mask so this is a blemish treatment that is pregnancy safe, not easy to find. Most acne or blemish products have salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, certain ingredients that are not proven safe while pregnant. And around like nine, 10 weeks, I started to get pretty bad acne and you'll see here in the before and after photos. So this is a clay mask that uses fancy clay, I call it. It's French pink clay and French 
green clay that we import from France. They are amazing at pulling out impurities. It also has zinc, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B3. So the combination of that helps reduce inflammation and then also pull everything out of the skin. So this is an optional add-on because I know not everybody has blemishes that they deal with. So this is the main kit and then this is an add-on oh wait so let me show you some before and after pictures do not gonna lie i mean i look really bad in these so do not judge me but here is what i was looking like about three weeks ago when my acne just decided to come out of nowhere my skin was looking fine and then boom and then within two and a half weeks of using this product combo now this is what my skin looks like without any makeup on you can see we're totally clear the redness is gone the inflammation is gone also my fine lines are getting better anyway just wanted to come on here and share those because they did just launch and i know a lot of pregnant women are very concerned about their skin and they want to know that they're using something that's good but also safe and i have a code i got my mom to give me a code for ten dollars off and anyone who places their order by march 15th is going to get a free beauty balm which is the best lip balm it is vegan and food grade because 40 percent of what you put on your lips you actually consume so this is so safe you can actually just eat it and it feels like butter on your lips there's not actually butter in here but there's shea butter honey okay quick little haul this is what i picked up today from h&m these are more little basic pieces the prices are good and it's all organic cotton and then nordstrom had some of the more special pieces like this is probably going to be her coming home outfit love this pattern and the little ruffle detail and i got the matching blanket for it my mom picked this one out it has a little ruffle on the butt which is adorable and also Brittany louise taylor you guys probably know her she's a youtuber um she sent me these two adorable outfits how sweet are these and then from target i picked up these adorable little onesies that has a little puff sleeve on here there's the panda the bunny and these were my favorite with Carter, the Burt's Bees onesies with the zip and the little footies. We're here at the Science Center and they have like a whole little kid zone. We've never been here before. Woo! Here's a tornado. And the kids. <laughs> you almost got it. <laughs> so now it's uh, nap time for most kids, so it's completely empty. And each little station is a different science experiment. It's pretty fun. They even have a whole building room in here that he can build with Legos or blocks. So the craziest thing about being here is I remember Mom, coming here as a kid I'm and it was like my favorite me. place. All right, I wanted to give a quick prenatal vitamin update. So I had been taking the ritual prenatal. I like the ingredients, all that. However, I cannot stomach these. You guys, I actually threw up two nights ago and I was like, never again. Like, it gives me the worst fish burps. Instead, for now at least, until I look into it more, I'm taking these Smarty Pants prenatal gummies and then extra iron, because these don't have iron in them. And then also this Omega-3 supplement from Nordic Naturals does not give me fish burps. Extra cloline, I don't know how to say that, but this is for brain development. The same woman who wrote It Starts With The Egg, who is basically my hero in life, also wrote a book about pregnancy and supplementation. So she recommended to take extra cloline for brain development and also extra vitamin D. So this is what I'm currently taking. I will put all of these in my Amazon storefront. I'll do a new one that's just like for pregnancy prenatal stuff. All right, so I am going to end the vlog here. I am trying to do these maybe like twice a month. Let me know if you like seeing these. I feel like it's a fun way just for you guys to stay updated with my pregnancy. You know how excited I am about it. This is pretty much all I want to talk about. I'm also thinking about doing a video talking all about baby names. I want to share with you guys some of the boy names we liked and the one we would have used and then the girl names that we are considering and may use. So if you want to see that, let me know. And with all of that said, thank you for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.